Normal. You know how long it's been since I played this game? A long time. A long, long time. Like a really long time. Like the last time I played this, I had the disc on PS3. Unfortunately, I lost that copy along with the PS3, which also had on the online Iron Galaxy version of uh, Third Strike and House of the Dead 3 Overkill and uh, 4. So that's fucking uh, a bit of a bummer. Anyway. <laughs> We're gonna play some characters I used to play all the time. I'm just gonna spoil this whole one for you so you can click away if you don't wanna watch me failing. I have not played this in three years. It's a lot slower feeling than I remember. My digital version on my PS4 here seems to be having trouble with some. When I was playing it, it had massive sound desync and everything felt slow and it used to feel super responsive and fast like DB Fighter Z and because I've been playing Fighter Z a lot I just thought it's about the same speed here I'm failing to remember how to do anything it's actually quite painful to watch so uh, yeah click away if you don't want to I'll start playing it again soon, like, and actually learn everything. This is me literally remembering which buttons do what again. Also, my version of, uh, Ultimate Marvel didn't have a commentator the whole time saying things in the background and I don't know how to turn that off. That lady, I don't know who the fuck that is or why that's in the, the game. Maybe it's because I have the Asian release version now, I don't know. Oh look, there's a green herb in the background. Huh, neat. try and remember how to do anything with Ghost Rider. He feels slow as fuck. I don't remember him being this slow. Hey guys, it's Ghost Rider. He should have been in the base game. It's a Dormammu. Because he's cooler. Shame his movesets kind of like puts you in a box a little bit. <laughs> Where you're like, oh... Oh look, my basic defense was zero, which basically means I never blocked. Great. For some reason, Akuma is saying nothing. Like he does say something on the English release. In this, he's not saying anything. Watch me fail to do anything sensible for like five minutes. Notice how I fail to basically land anything properly. I forget how to advance in guard or snap back myself. I have to go through all of the mechanics again, essentially. Ghost Rider's moves, and I'm just sat there like, uh, his basic, like, light hit has got such shit range.
Yeah, so what's weird is the game feels like it starts moving faster as I go throughout the playthrough, which is very strange. At first, it feels really slow and unresponsive. And then as I get used to it, I kind of start to feel like, oh, yeah, this, this feels a little more light, but it's taking its time. Yeah, I just let her get away because I don't know what buttons to hit. Everything feels really un... I, it's not coming across in the video. Everything feels like there's latency. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> His hidden missile has always been quite, like, to be fair. So what did the <laughs> what did the <laughs> storm came on stream uh, on screen and it sounded like the announcer said. Look at those it's and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> like, so yeah, one by timeout because we're just kind of flubbing everything, and I don't know what's happening. Get ready for the fight of your life. Feels a lot more uneventful than I remember. Then I think it's just I don't know what the fuck I'm doing anymore. So. See, Therakuma says something. See, I am going for jump ins like it's Street Fighter V. Then I get wrecked. Wow. So yeah, I'm going to have to spend a lot of time. It's actually kind of depressing for me because I used to love this game and I played it like for hours back in the day. And then I left it for about three years, not being able to play it, not having anyone to play with. Uh, and yeah, I've forgotten everything. <laughs> like I, I kind of remember the specials where the super button is and like I keep hitting it by accident thinking it's the dash button. Yes. I'm just flailing the chair around the chain around because I forget which which one goes to which area as I just pro proved. <sighs> They blocked all of that. <laughs> like, seems when they cross over attack me, they always hit. And when I cross over combination them, they go, fuck you, that doesn't hit. But to be fair, like I said, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Why even save this recording, you say? For prosperity to remind everyone to keep playing the games that you love. Because if you stop playing for too long, you literally forget how to fucking do everything. It's like the phrase, it's like riding a bicycle is total bullshit. From someone who had to learn to ride a bicycle twice because there was a five to seven year gap in between the times he picked up riding a bicycle when he was young. And he lost all confidence in between. That's a fucking bullshit statement. You will forget. And you won't naturally pick it up. If you can't pick it up, you can't pick it up. You need to sit and practice. I literally stopped riding a bicycle from about the ages of like five to seven until I was like 12. And I forgot how to ride a bicycle and literally couldn't work out why I kept falling off of the bicycle until I literally taught myself all over again. So yeah, that's real. You can forget shit. It's not like... 
My muscle memory is better now, but like... I mean, look at the video length. Marvel vs. Capcom 3. That's right. The third chapter. The superheroes are all here. Who will rise to the top? So I'm kind of like, should I try other characters? I used to play a lot of different characters. Just casually, all of them. Like, you know, basically most of the Marvel roster, uh, like a handful of the Capcom characters I used to play and like. And I'm always like, oh yeah, you know, I should try Virgil. I heard Virgil's really good and like, I like the character of Virgil. I never played Virgil. Like, I labbed him once and was like, oh, okay. And I never played him. Because so I just never really like, I just never got around to it. Probably not ready, Get to be ready fair. To <laughs> yep, that's basically defining this playthrough. To be honest, I do this a lot because I'm like, that's not what the button used to be. Why am I, you know, I'm like, what? Where's my katana rama? How do I do the thing where I throw the grenades? I used to do it all the time. It was really easy. Let's see how many times I can hit the same button again and again by accident. <laughs> I used to play quite a lot of Iron Fist. You cannot tell from watching me play Iron Fist now. This is one of my favorite versions of Akuma's um, theme because I used to hear it all the time. I just really like the like flute. It's gone now. <laughs> it's back. <laughs> Listen to the flute. Watch me fail to hit Katana Rama. It has such a like. It's got a weirdly like wide. Look, I hit him. And then the computer's like, oh, you've learned the buttons. Okay, I'll start hitting you then. <laughs> like, the problem is, when I first played this game, is I basically only used specials and supers, and then was like, why am I not winning? And now I've come back to fighting games after a long hiatus. I'm sat here like, how do anything, what, what is normal? <laughs> like, you know, and I'm like, oh shit. Oh yeah, X Factor. That was a bit unfair, but okay. Oh. My Akuma has a full bar, though. Yeah, look, I did a thing. It seems to be, like, speeding up now and I'm starting to get it. You know why it wasn't speeding up before? Looking back on this, the main reason it wasn't speeding up before was I was literally like, I'm just going to do specials. And like, I'm sitting here inputting these slow ass like inputs that have to be pretty accurate in comparison to other hyper fighters. Sorry, other fighters. Hyper fighters is a little looser. Get ready for the fight of your life. Who was I supposed to kill again? Yeah, doesn't matter. We're 
Oh, fuck off, Hawkeye. Get ready to brawl. Is Hawkeye just a shit Deadpool? Don't at me. <laughs> like, I went through a big thing of really liking Deadpool. Like, I actually got into Deadpool through the comics. I know, I'm that guy. That guy who actually reads the comics. <laughs> like, he's like, oh, well, I liked him before he was popular. Yes, I'm that guy. So here's the thing. I literally just picked it up thinking, hey, he looks cool from the cover art. Because I used to have a comic store right near my university, Forbidden Planet. And they had, like, Punisher. And I thought, I'm going to go and try some other, mar like, uh, other superheroes in Marvel. Because I was big into the Western comics. I never really read manga. I've never read manga, even to this day, which is actually crazy to me. Uh, and I was just sitting there reading Western comics all of the time, and I got like a load of Punisher Max. I always used to really love Punisher, especially the Garth Ennis ones. Um, because, you know, Edge. Uh, the irony was, leaving it a year or so, between reading those books, I went from, wow, these are really great, they're so edgy, dark, man. About two, three years after that, I reread them before putting some of them on eBay and Amazon and stuff. And I was like, holy fucking shit, this is just horrifically violent. Like, what the hell? And like, the one that really hit me was, I think, Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe. I really, really liked that when I first read it. And then I went back to read it after I had more understanding of the universe and more understanding of like Marvel characters and a greater love for Marvel characters. And I went, oh, this is just horrible to read. Like, this feels wrong. <laughs> this feels fucked up. I feel bad reading this. Like, people are violently dying that I care about. I had a load of the versus the Marvel Universe ones. So I had Punisher versus the Marvel Universe. That, but not versus. Is it kills? The one where, like, everyone except the Punisher essentially becomes a zombie from a global pandemic. <laughs> like, and everyone, and, like, he's to blame because he shot a briefcase that he could in no way know that had a, like, virus in it. And yeah, that one, and Spider-Man turns into some weird, like, creepy sex beast where he's got all the girls and then, like, so does, like, the thing or something or the Hulk, I can't remember. And, like, all the girls are around him and he's like, yeah, this my bitch pit and my, my, my throne of skulls. <laughs> like, yeah, that, that, those what-ifs in Marvel go fucking hard. I doubt they have that level of, like, freedom now that Disney owns them, but, like... The level of what-if in the alternate universes for Marvel was just fucking crazy, but it basically always turned into, what if this edgy character or character that uses guns killed everyone? Could they do it? Of course they could, their name's on the cover. Uh, and you were just sat there like... There was, I'm pretty sure there's Deadpool versus the Marvel Universe and Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe too. And there's loads of team up comics I had where he worked with Bullseye dressed up as Hawkeye. Uh, although he was fighting Bullseye dressed up as Hawkeye. He was working with Iron Fist. He was working with like Thor. I had a load of graphic novels where they just collected a load of things like that. And I really enjoyed them. Um, that's all I really have to say. That's how I found out about Deadpool. I was a Deadpool super fan. I played the PS3 game with Nolan North voicing him. Was it Nolan North? Yeah, it was Nolan North, I think. They hadn't, they hadn't basically cemented that Ryan Reynolds was the character yet, so... Uh, yeah, so I played that game. That game isn't good. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, the game needs a lot more to it. It's serviceable at best. 
Like, if it was straight up felt like it was unfinished and then they just turned it into a Deadpool joke of like, Haha, yeah, yeah, the, the main the main villains are pushover baby, so we don't need to use the final boss arena. Ha ha ha. But it was like, basically, we didn't have time to finish a final boss. That is what that meant. That game isn't great. It could have been better. There's a lot of things they could have done to make it really good. And instead, they just kind of... Hmm, they didn't have enough time. I remember reading like Rob Liefeld's Twitter and a bunch of other people's Twitter saying things like, basically, if the Deadpool game does enough sales, we'll make a Deadpool movie. And then the Deadpool movie was made, and it was like, I'm pretty sure they were going to make the movie anyway. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? They were just basically trying to up sales for, like, their kind of, like, semi, like, serviceable but pretty woeful video game. That just because I was a Deadpool super fan at that point, literally played so much, like, so much, that, like, it was, like, I did the entire game on the hardest difficulty for no reason other than self-flagellation. What a waste of my life. <laughs> like, it's not worthy of that attention. Yeah, even the classic Deadpool stuff is pretty funny, pretty interesting. There's quite a lot of jokes in there. It's a little more light-hearted in places, but also touches on, like, harsh subject matter. They establish the character in a very interesting way. There's a lot of, like, stuff where they mess around with him. But, like, most elements of media, especially Marvel media, I just got to the point where I was, like, kind of bored of Deadpool because they oversaturated the whole thing. It was like Deadpool, then there was the Deadpool movie, and then everyone was getting in on Deadpool and was like, Deadpool's so cool, did you know? And it's like, yes. <laughs> like, you know, all of the people who think they're educating you after you've been in the fandom before there was a fandom or before, like, you know, and you're just like, yes, I know who Deadpool is. I know more about Deadpool than you do. Not that that's something that I should be going around going, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> you know, like, whatever. It's fine. He's an interesting character in the comics. He's a fine character on the screen. And then I just got to the point where I was like, I'm really bored of this character. Holy shit, he literally does this thing, and that's his thing. But, like, I like him. I like, I like his character. Like, it's just that, you know, I hit a point where I'm like, okay, I'm done with this character. Same with the Punisher. I get it. I get what the character is. I want to move on. You know what I mean? And it's like, the Punisher is great. I, I really like the 2004 Tom Jane movie, even though it's, like, as unrelated to the material as possible. I think it does better than the Warzone movie does because it's not as shit. <laughs> like, you know... Like, it depends on what you're looking for, right? If you're like, I don't need it to be faithful to the source material, Tom Jane is a good Punisher. He gives it the style it needs. There's some great directed shots in that movie. There's some really neat cinematography, and there's some really creative kills. Warzone is a fucking joke. If you like Warzone, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> like, it's a grungy, shitty joke. But like, uh, no offense to Ray Stevenson, who still works for Marvel, because I think he just has a permanent contract with them. Uh, but I really like the Netflix seasons. The Netflix seasons of Punisher are really neat. I'm sad that got canceled, but it was going to get canceled. Like, me and my mates were really into it, and we were like, oh, yeah, cool. And that final scene in season two where they're like, hey man, I know a guy. And they give her a business card and it pans to the business card. And she's going to, like, to the coast. I was saying to my mate, oh, it'd be so good if it said Barracuda. It would be so good if it said Barracuda. That would be so fucking funny if it was Barracuda. 
like you know and the late like like they build up because they did the whole jigsaw thing and you think they always do jigsaw they never do barracuda they never touch barracuda outside of like the comics especially the max comics i want to see barracuda you know what i mean and then it gets cancelled after the second season and i'm like to be fair the second season wasn't as great as the first season it was okay though it didn't go down as rapidly as like say sons of anarchy did which just went this is a good premise and we've run out of budget let's not show the motorcycles let's just show ron perlman shouting at the guy who plays jacks in the same set room, which is the biker club room, <laughs> again and again, because we can't afford other sets to shoot the motorcycles to do action scenes. Fuck it. That shit was run on a hella tight budget. <laughs> like, you could tell. I think that's the big problem about modern era biker fiction is that you've got to spend a lot of money co doing choreo choreography stuff. Uh, and like doing like bike stuff and that's a lot of money getting the bikes out getting people to ride them getting people to like take video of them as they run you know on dollies and things it's just like you know hanging out of a truck kind of thing videoing them so I get it but it's just like you know if they had the budget they could fucking do it they just <laughs> so yeah x23 is really fucking fast when I first played this game I used to play X-23 and Wolverine all the time because they're fast and like when you first learn the game you, you really need fast characters because always you're just like, why am I not moving? Why am I getting hit by everything? I don't understand. <sighs> yeah, but like, I always wanted to get into Ghost Rider as in the comics. I always wanted to get into Blade as comics. And I always wanted to get into Doctor Strange. And what's quite funny is on my old Mac and Apple ID account, I had all of these pinball machines for all of those characters. Oh, and I had a few Agent Venom and Venom comics. And I think one about the birth of Toxin. I had a lot, man. I had a lot. They were good. Yeah, I would say if you want to get into the comics, you should, because they basically are just storyboards because of the way comics and graphic novels work. They essentially play out where, you know, key frames are basically shown and drawn. That's that's the whole point. So if you're into the movies, it's a great, like, transition because you're essentially getting the same experience. Well... And they can do stuff that they can't do on the big screen because, ah, oh, we can't show the Captain America punching zombie George Washington in the face. Which is literally one of the comics I read where they bring Deadpool in because Captain America was punching <laughs> George Washington in the face. Uh, and they were like, yeah, we got to keep this out of the newspapers, so <laughs> bring Deadpool in. Yeah, so that was always fun. I was a real big Marvel mark for a long, long time. I had a few Batman comics, but I didn't really go for DC that much. And then I had the Watchmen. I had I had a version of the Watchmen where like the illustrator had signed it. I, I have no idea where that's went now, but people weren't giving me anything for it because it was basically like... Uh, Turns out that the illustrator basically signed fuck tons <laughs> of these versions, and it's like, you know, really just for your... I literally, until I booted this game up and selected X-23, forgot X-23 was a thing. She literally just died in the aughts, like, but she didn't. She just suddenly just fell off the map. Like, everyone's like... Oh, here's Galactus. Go for broke. 
in, in your life, you should have as much confidence in every single encounter you have as Doctor Doom has, where he literally like is up against a world destroyer, and he's like, "If you turn around now, <laughs> like I'll pretend this never happened. You have the mercy of the Doom." Except I'm getting wrecked by the the first round. One of my friends used to like sometimes play Dormammu when we played this, and he would just do that stupid move where he opens a void and goes <laughs> again and again. I was just like, for fuck's sake, stop doing that move. Same guy would also uh, play Modok sometimes and just be like, uh, what does he say when he shoots his beam? Oh, it's gone now. wrecked <laughs> yeah you're gonna see this a lot because i'm like wait how does this fuck <laughs> you know what i mean like which of these moves do i super out of again and which of these moves are like i have to oh i fucked up now i fucked it all you know what i mean <laughs> like this Like, I'm gonna be honest, Ghost Rider's not a good choice for like fighting the final boss. He's actually pretty hard to get like the right things. In. Earth KO. I remember Galactus being a bit hard until you learned what he what his thing was, and I've completely forgotten <laughs> like how to deal with him. Then I kind of realized that like Ghost Rider's not the right option here, and go for an Akuma. <laughs> yeah, no, man. The, the comics are great. One of my favorite interactions with a human being was literally them not understanding that comic books exist and me giving, like, selling my PS4 version of Spider Man to him. And him going, wow, it's so great that they took all of these villains and, like, kind of adapted them from the movies and put them all in the same game, isn't it? They're so creative. Oh yeah, I never thought that they'd use characters from the movies like Doctor Octopus again. And you're like, yeah, because he comes from the Sam Raimi invented that character. Did you know? I'm like, well, you know, this is what happens when you spend your whole life trying to get laid, I guess. <laughs> Which is like the subversion of like, oh, you live, you watch comic books. Oh, you're such a fucking nerd. Get a girlfriend. Oh look, you've got a girlfriend. You don't understand basic comic knowledge. <laughs> like. Sorry, that was super nerdy. <laughs> but like, yeah, I was just like, seriously. Oh, somehow I missed. He's doing the thing. Oh, fuck. He did it again. Shit. <laughs> you can watch me like spazzing out trying to work out what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, the pain. If I just use all of the bullshit. Fuck. He's doing the thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, that move just fucking instas you. I forgot that one. What everyone says to boomers nowadays. Congratulations, you have doomed our world. <laughs> Galactus, the original Boomer Shamer. <laughs> Ooh, 
you know, you look at this roster and like people say Infinite has a bad roster, and it does, but you're sat there like, holy shit, some of these characters. You know, some of these characters I don't think are just like even thought of in modern day Marvel. Like, you know, maybe in the next generation, if we're lucky, we'll see people like She Hulk. I'm pretty sure, like, Dark Phoenix, the Dark Phoenix movie just fucking massacred Phoenix from everyone's minds for the rest of their lives, and we will never see Phoenix ever again in anything. But, like, are they going to do anything with X-23 outside of the Logan movie? I doubt it highly. Talk to me about fucking Super Scroll. <laughs> like, wait, was, were they in Captain Marvel? I don't know. Watch me get murdered by the first thing that's not supposed to be something you even take damage on. <laughs> I will hop. Haha. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Fight is over. <laughs> Fight is fucking over. I'm getting comboed by the final boss. That's not supposed to happen. Maybe I should start reading the mangas, though, because I got into anime, like, way later. Like, I just started... Basically, when I first came to China, I started watching anime, like, properly. Ah, actually, that's a lie. That's the first time I started watching JoJo, which was my first conscious, like, I'm going to watch an anime. Not just an anime that's on Netflix that I happen to click on. It's literally just anime. I am seeking out anime. Like... So I, I don't think that counts, <laughs> me just saying, yeah, like, oh, yeah, those don't count. Like, uh, you know, I watched Gurren Lagann and stuff and, like, Sword Art Online. But then um, I went to, uh, went abroad and I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So I watched all of those. Yeah. Yeah, that move where he's like, Ooh. <laughs> that is all I can say. I'm looking at the screen and just like, this is fucking bad. <laughs> this is just bad. <laughs> it gets better. It's fine. I literally don't know how to handle a lot of these moves. I literally just don't understand. <laughs> like, you know... Like, I see him charging up, and I'm on the wrong side of the screen. It's like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> like, like... He does that. Like, how am I supposed to block? I don't know. I've forgotten how to block. Oh, that was a speedy KO. Oh, I'm a huge loser. Stop judging me, Galactus. Not my fault. <laughs> I mean, it's a good roster. That's quite a good thing. It's quite a good range, you know. Annoying Wesker is annoying.
freaking <laughs> Dolmammu. Damn it, Dolmammu. Guess likelihood of me winning on this. Ow. Oh, the pain. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Big yep. <laughs> the pain. This is a study. Keep playing the games you love. <laughs> Because always you forget. The fact that they put Crimson Viper in here, they had like an entire Street Fighter roster, and this was around the time that they would put Crimson Viper in. Now they could have put like Jury or like, uh, I would have loved the hyper version of Jury, uh, especially like Street Fighter 4 Jury, but like they had Crimson Viper and she's pretty good fun. Um, or imagine Hakan, that would have been hilarious. But yeah, like that was around that time when they would have actually put Crimson Viper in something. Rather than just like, you know, pretending that that character is basically a background character and nothing else. Thanks, Street Fighter 5. Because <laughs> she's not a bad character. I just think not many people played her. And I, I've never seen anyone play her. Man, I need to play some more Ultra 4 on my channel. I was going to play... Five, but then I remembered five was bad. <laughs> like, five is straight up bad. Like, I can do a whole thing where we just play Street Fighter 4 and 5, and everyone will be like, oh, holy shit. Five is just, like, it's prettier, but it's just not good. It felt like that wasn't hitting him because of the way the planes were. Ah, oh, no! I shouldn't have jumped. Balls. He's so close. Just let me live now. Fuck. <laughs> what is that, like 10 losses? We've killed 10 Earths. Skipping everything at this point, I'm just like, fuck it, just let me. Also, around the time they'd actually put Wesker in anything. It's a very specific time frame, isn't it? And that's why Marvel Infinite just doesn't work, because they're like at that point where they're trying to be like sanitized MCU Marvel versus. Capcom games that people actually like the mainstream know about or like, you know, like Akami's not had any, you know, Beautiful Joe's not, you know, you know what I mean? It's just like, because that studio is just not around anymore and it's just like, oh, you know what I mean? It's like certain really fan favorite characters are just never going to be like in a versus game again because that property is basically dead, question mark. And that's kind of sad. But then they put fucking Arthur in from Ghost of Goblins or whatever. <laughs> like, you know. 
it's important he's included. I didn't do it early enough. If she keeps saying fight's over, eventually it will be over, right? Apparently, Wolvie would die like a punk bitch. <laughs> like... Yeah, I missed. I can't hit him. Like, the problem is the character, the, the model of Galactus is moving around, so it makes you sit there and think, uh. Am I still capable of hitting it? And you are. Light punch for win. Are we glad that's over? <laughs> okay, so next time you see me playing MVC free, it's gonna actually be me playing. <laughs> like, I'm gonna do a lot of practice with this game. Look, he murdered everybody. As he is known to do. Yeah, two screens. You get two screens. Yeah, some of these, it's like you get two or three screens. And it's basically just a comic book key art of them going, Oh, yeah, yeah, this happened. And it's really just like nothing, so...